Hey guys, Flippy Invader 782 here with my first movie review. After Dark. Yeah, it's, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a new series called After Dark where I do stuff after dark, like when the moon is up, like at 8 or something. So today, I'll be reviewing one of the best family movies of all time Despicable Me. Yes, if you haven't seen this movie, then go see it right now. It is pretty freaking hilarious. And it's got a lot of good voice. It's got a lot of good voices, a good story, lots of funny jokes, and the minions are just hilarious. <laughs> so, here's a summary of it. I don't think of it. The story is about this evil villain named. Grew, voiced by Steve Carell, as you can see on the top of the case, and uh, he used to be the number one villain until another villain named Hector, which is like a geeky guy in orange spandex, becomes the number one villain, and Grew is number two. So I guess to become the number one villain again, he tries to steal a shrink ray and use it to steal the moon. But later he. He can't get he can't get to it because Hector or Vector stole it from him, and he has to get it back. And then these three scout girls, the one in the glasses, surprisingly voiced by Miranda Cosgrove, he stumbles across them. He figures out, and they get into his carriage because into his house because they're Girl Scouts, and they sell his favorite kind of cookies called coconutties. Yeah. So he uses them to get into his house and steal the freeze ray, which he does. But he has to. But he adopts. Before that, he adopts the kids so he can use them. And after that, they become a pain because he is now acting like a father and an evil scientist at the same time. Later, he has a relationship, well, a bond with the girls. And he he's acting more like a father instead of an evil villain, and this gets him fired from his evil villain job. And so, um, and so he's and so he's like stuck with no job, and and then he decides to get rid of the girls and continue with his plan to steal the moon. And one of the girls gives him. A ticket to go see a ballerina show with them but he doesn't because he's busy going to go and steal the moon later when he does he realizes the ticket and has a change of heart and decides to go after the girls but of course he didn't make it because Hector has captured them after what after a long story which I won't explain since this is a summary so he kidnaps them Gru saves them the moon is returned back to normal because after a time you can only shrink it for like so long which begs the question how could he keep the moon like that if he could only stay shrink for a short amount of time but H Hector is stuck on the moon after he's grown back to full size then he gives up his evil relationship and becomes a father to the three girls and that's basically it so uh, overall it was an excellent movie and pretty funny because of the minions. I'm sorry I did not include them in here, but this is a summary. And with the minions, they got three new mini movies. I think you can only get it on the Blu-ray version. Yeah, I ha yeah, my dad has a I have a PS3, so I always get Blu-ray DVDs because of higher quality. So yeah was a very good very good movie pick it up on blu-ray if you have a blu-ray player or playstation 3 or if you don't just pick it up on normal dvd it really doesn't matter so buy it right now we buy it for like like seven ten bucks or something pretty expensive because it's blu-ray and so yeah that's it for this first review i'll see you next time